I would like to ask uh, Congressman Danny Davis from Illinois. Uh, he's a uh, member of the Ways and Means Committee to come to podium and speak for us. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I'm delighted that I could be here and could stop by for a few minutes. And as I was walking down the hall, I was thinking of how important it is that you gather how important it is that you continue to meet and press forward. You know, our world right now is experiencing a tremendous amount of turmoil. Over the years, we've made tremendous progress in the movement towards freedom, equal opportunity, justice. But yet, there seem to be many in our world who want to take us back want to take us back to yesteryear, take us back to yesterdays, and rather than moving forward, want to maintain the status quo. I believe that the only way that freedom ever exists is from continuous struggle, that those who would profess a love for freedom as Frederick Douglass once said, they want to be free but don't necessarily want to do what's necessary. It's clear to me that you understand that because there's no such thing as experiencing freedom or experiencing the rain without the thunder and the lightning. There's no way that you can experience the development of crops without first plowing up the ground. And I often hear people, I happen to be Protestant, Protestant and many people who practice the same faith that I do, often say a prayer, they call it the Lord's Prayer. But I notice one thing about the prayer is before you get to the glory, you first have to experience the power. It says, give us the power, then you can experience the glory. You cannot experience the glory without first developing the power. Sometimes it looks as though our task is more than we think we can accomplish. But as long as you keep moving, as long as there is life, as long as there is breath, and you believe strongly enough in what it is that you want to accomplish, then you just set out and do it no matter what the odds appear to be. I often, when I talk to young people, especially those who consider themselves deprived, I suggest to them that they can accomplish whatever they set out to do and whatever you put into the effort then you can rejoice in the victory. So I would just simply say to you, often your task will be many and more than you think you can do. But set out every day that you wake up with faith in your heart and climb till your dreams come true. Often the roads will be rugged and the hills unsurmountable too. But faith is a mover of mountains. There's nothing that people cannot do. So start out every day with faith in your heart and keep struggling, climbing, working, hoping, and being unified. And I do believe that your dreams of freedom will ring true. Thank you so very much. It's a pleasure.